Hello everybody, my name is Austin, and hey, today I want to talk about Genshin versus Star Rail. And I want to talk about the differences and the similarities between the two, and which one I prefer. You know what I mean? Yeah. But before we do that, I would like to talk about some stuff first. Um, Honkai Star Rail Part 2 is definitely coming out. I just need to get to the relic part. Yeah. I don't know where to farm relics yet, so uh, until we know where to farm relics, until I'm, you know, at that part of the story where, where we can farm relics, then I cannot release Part 2 because I want to cover the relic p part of the game, right? That way, you know, that way it's the review is concise. But anyway, uh, back to the main video here. Uh, anyway, so why are we comparing these two games? Well, it's because, well, you know, these games are very similar, right? They are developed by MiHoYo, now commonly known as HoYoVerse. You know, they want to make that, uh, that you know, the MCU, you know, that Marvel Cinematic Universe, right? They want to make that Marvel Cinematic Universe. But, you know, with video games, right? With video games, and Hawkeye Star Rail is their latest addition to this HoYoVerse that they're building, right? Started with Honkai Impact 3rd, all that shit, now it's Genshin, and now it's Star Rail. So, anyway, let's talk about the differences between Genshin and... Star Rail. So Genshin is open world, right? What does open world mean? It means that you travel the world and there's no restrictions to a certain degree, right? To a certain degree. Like it's obviously game maps are they can only be a certain they can they can only, you know, they can only be, you know, as big as, you know, the developers make them to be, right? No open world is truly endless. Except for Minecraft maybe. But yeah, <laughs> like but, like, if we're thinking stuff like Legend of Zelda, right? Or, like, Breath of the Wild or some shit. Like, that type of open world. Like, usually, you know, open world refers to, like, like a, like, like a big chunk, right? Like, a big map of, like, shit. Or like, like, of, like, of things to do, right? And that is Genshin. Well, Honkai Star Rail is constructed of levels, right? And they do it really nicely. They really, uh, they really do, uh... They really do like slide it in neatly. It's, it's like um, how do I put this? It's um, it's um, uh, it's like a it's like a little platform, right? It's like a little it's like it's like a level game. Yeah, there are levels uh in the game. It's not open world per se, but there are levels and areas to each like, you know, each part of the world, right? There are levels and areas to each part of the world, but. I, I, I really like this, because HoYoVerse, because definitely Star Rail, right, it's definitely on a smaller, 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 uh, I guess, it's a smaller budget than Genshin. We'll talk about that later, of course, but, uh, you know, it's on a smaller, like, budget, but I, I, I like how it was able to, like, mask that. Like, you don't, like, obviously it doesn't feel as open as Genshin, right, it doesn't feel as open as Genshin, but... They really do work with that, I guess, area level like system, and they really slide it in really neatly. Like it's, it's not, it doesn't feel open, but at the same time, you can ignore the fact that it is, you know, it is a, uh, it's area level base. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know, we were talking about like budget earlier, right? So let's talk about the budget. So Genshin is a much, much bigger game than Star Rail, and I guarantee you, I guarantee you, yeah. Genshin Impact got so fucking big that, you know, they gotta start making spin-offs and shit, right? They gotta do that shit. And hence, hence Honkai Star Rail, right? Since Honkai Star Rail. Honkai Star Rail is definitely a smaller game, right? It's a smaller game than Genshin. And Genshin is the bigger game, right? The bigger game, better quality, you know what I mean? On a lot of stuff, right? So what does Genshin have? So Genshin obviously has the bigger world, right? Which means... You know what I mean? Like, a lot of things are more polished, right? Everything's more polished in the world. Um, you know, it has a, lot, has, has a lot more care, right? It's definitely Hoyoverse's top dog game, and it will be their top dog game until there's something that even beats Genshin, but I seriously doubt it. Right? I seriously doubt it. Like, like Honkai Star Rail is just a spinoff, and it will be nothing more than a spinoff. But, anyway. 
Uh, Honkai Star Rail is still good, though. I, I just want to talk about Genshin a little bit more, right? So Genshin, you know what I mean? Like, like every everything's top priority in Genshin. But also at the same time, like, you know what I mean? Also at the same time, uh, you know, like, it's also, because it's so big, right? Because it's so big, the game is so big, it's got a lot of budget. Sometimes it doesn't like to listen to its players, right? Sometimes it's not very lenient with the player base because it's such a big budgeted game, right? Because, you know, like, like people ask for, like, balance changes or people ask for more content, but fucking Genshin Impact. Uh, the, the, the devs at the Hoyoverse, right? The Genshin Impact department. They don't, they don't care. They don't care if people ask for that shit. Because it's a big game. It's got a big budget. They can do whatever the fuck they want. Right? And they know how to make the money. So they ain't listening to nobody. They'll listen if it's like a huge outcry. But let's be real here. They know the demographics. So they don't care. Now, Honkai Star Rail, while it having a smaller budget, right? While, ha while, while it having a smaller budget, it... It, and yeah, like it's it's definitely it doesn't it doesn't receive top tier like, like development. It doesn't receive top tier treatment from like you know it, like, like like the Genshin devs do, right? The Genshin devs get get the cash. They get the best shit. But the Honkai Star Rail shit, they get the second they get the second rate shit. They get the hand me down shit. They get, they get the second best stuff. They don't get the first best stuff. They don't get the good the sec the first best stuff, right? They get the second best stuff. And, and, and you know and you know what that creates right that creates that creates more I guess ears to the community because Honkai Star Rail is a smaller game there is a highly li highly likely chance that they will listen to their players more and they'll, they'll also be more uh, nice to the players Honkai Star Rail they constantly constantly I see it on Twitter all the fucking time they constantly promote that like, that like when you log into the game, you can get 80, 80 pulls or something for free. And I, I'm not seeing these 80 pulls anywhere, but uh, they promise that shit, right? Well, Genshin, on the other hand, Genshin's, you know, offering only a measly 20, 20 free wishes when you log into the game. Honkai Star Rail doubles that. No, doesn't even triple that. It quad, like quadruples that, right? 20 times 4 is indeed 80, yes. Like, H HSR has quadrupled the amount of free pulls. You know, so claims they're advertising, right? So claims they're advertising. They're advertising more pulls because it's a smaller game. So they're being more nice to the players, which is a, which is a positive thing. It's a good thing. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not top quality compared to Genshin, of course, but the developers, they're more kinder. Right, they're more nice to the players, which is an upside, even if the game is small. Um, talking about the story and stuff like that, I wanted to talk about this in part two, but at first, the story—I mean, the story beats are pretty similar. The first like chapter or so, the first two chapters. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how this. I don't know how the the story arcs are like usually usually separated, right? Like like for Genshin, it's by region, but by Honkai Star Rail, I'm not too sure. I'm guessing it's by area, so like, uh, I'm guessing like, uh, the, what's, what's, this, what's the winter place again? Like, Bella Barg or some shit? Bella Borg? And, you know, like, the space station, all that crap, and the underworld, I'm guessing. It's like another arc of its own. But, anyway, in these stories, like, in, like, obviously the first couple story beats, it's very similar, you know, like, uh, spoiler alert, skip 15 seconds ahead, um, uh, they have a devolved moment. There's a devolved enemy. You know what I mean? Like, holy shit. They have... They they introduce characters like a bit... They introduce characters in Honkai Star Rail that are similar to the Abyss. Like, anyway. Yeah. Um, spoiler over. So, anyway. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, there's a lot of similar story beats, right? There's a lot of similar story beats. But, you know... But, but it does, like, there is one thing, though, that really, really sets it apart. I, I was going to say a couple of things, but no, there's, there's one thing that really changes it, I think. And I think it's the character dynamics, right? Because let's talk about this, right? Let's talk about this. So, you know, obviously, character dy dynamics makes these stories good. Because something that, something that uh, these sort of stories have in common, right, is that they're not really complex 
the lore isn't like that strong unless you like read the books and shit. You know what I mean? You're not getting a lot of info. You're not getting a lot of deep, rich storytelling from these games. You're not. But what makes these games great is their their char their character interactions, their character dynamics, their character. You know what I mean? Like the way the characters interact with each other, I think is immaculate in both of these games. And they are similar in the beginning, definitely. But over time, you can definitely tell it becomes different, right? As I said, uh, Genshin, it's a duo mic it's a duo uh, mechanic, right? It's a duo character it's a duo character interaction. And and for Star Rail, it's a party, right? It's a group of three people. Uh, and obviously the rest of the star crew, so it's just a whole party. It's a party interaction, right? And it, it, it's, it gives for some really nice, really, really nice moments in each of the games, right? So for like Genshin, right? Like Paimon is your best friend. You hang out with Paimon. You have inside jokes with Paimon, all this good shit. You know what I mean? And you meet all these people, but Paimon is like the best friend you have in the world. Even if you don't like Paimon, even if you don't like Paimon, um, and you know, in the game, you can always trust Paimon. For now, who knows if Paimon turns bad? Who knows? But you know, it's it's, it's that dynamic between you and Paimon that's like really cool, right? And obviously, all the all the other characters come by, of course, all, of course, right? And you meet different characters in each region, of course, in Genshin, and so you know, you just. You know, you, you develop character interactions there, of course, but it's always in the duo mechanic, and it's, it's something cool. It's something it's something cool to see, right? Like, that, like no matter where you go, you, all the friends you meet in Genshin, all the NPC friends you meet in Genshin, you know what I mean? Like, Paimon will always be your be your, your best bro, your best your best fam. You know what I mean? So it's a really cool, it's a pretty cool inter uh, interaction. You know, you tell funny jokes, with Paimon, and 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 whoever the guest NPC is, like Mona or some shit, or like. D Luke or Shang Li or whatever you know what I mean, and um, and Star Rail is a it's a it's a it's a party mechanic right it's a it's a party mechanic it's you, you have more characters to bounce off of uh, it's there's gonna be less I'm guessing there's gonna be less uh, character NPCs that you talk to who knows I could be wrong though but just basing this off of like character dynamics and character structure. Uh, it's obviously it's gonna focus more on the party, right? Because in Genshin, it's you, Paimon, and a bunch of guest characters for that region, right? That's that's the character di dynamic. But in this region, it's gonna be a party dynamic, right? So you're gonna see a lot of character bonding between the party, and you're obviously you're gonna get a lot of bonding between outside characters as well, right? I'm not saying that Genshin is only Genshin's the only like game that like what is it? It's the only game that like has character bonding between outside characters and the duo, right? No. In Star Rail, you're definitely going to have... Uh, you're definitely going to have character bonding between outsiders as well. But primarily in Star Rail, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be just the party, right? The party, you know what I mean? Like, Don, ha Don Hang, March 7th, and Trailblazer. Uh, sorry, or Stell or Calais, whatever. I'm sorry if I'm but but butchering uh, H -H -S -R names, alright? I haven't played the game much, but I really enjoyed what I've played, and Kafka the best. Anyway, but... So, like, yeah, overall, these character dynamics, they're really good, they're really nice, they're different, but I, I, I really enjoy seeing them. Uh, and I'm happy to see where these stories, like, diverge. I'm, I'm happy to see how they do things differently, because... Even though they do things differently, it's great in their own way. And so I appreciate that. I appreciate that about both games. Uh, something to talk about. Maybe like uh, artifact system and like gearing system, stuff like that. Um, I cannot say for... Uh, I cannot say for Star Rail. But I'm guessing if it's like... If, if it's turn-based, it's probably going to be like a dungeon system. It's probably going to have to farm gear through a dungeon system. If that's the case, then the mechanics are going to be a lot different than uh, just like farming shit in like Genshin, where it's a more open, you know what I mean? And even if you go through like certain like, what is it, what do you call it, certain, uh, certain, I know, I'm just going to dungeon for both of them. I can't think of the word right now for Genshin's, I guess, dungeons. But, you know, you, you enter Genshin's dungeon, it's more free, right? Everything's free. You collect items from Genshin to like awaken your stuff. It's free. It's 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 all it's all it's all out there, right? It's all it's all about the freedom, right? 
Even when you're attacking, it's all about freedom. Even when you're collecting shit, it's all about freedom. In Star Rail, um, it's all about that repetition. Obviously, it's all about it's all about that turn-based shit. Uh, you're not gonna be moving around everywhere in Star Rail. You're just gonna be sitting in one place doing your crap. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and I'm not too sure about like awakening, like like collecting awakening stuff, but it's probably just like farming like uh, like obstacles or some shit. I don't, I'm not too sure. I haven't got that part yet. And speaking of like, uh, I guess like farming and stuff like that, like the mechanics, obviously, Honkai Star Rail is turn based and Genshin is indeed, uh, it is indeed, uh, it's open world. It's, uh, it's open, open action RPG, right? Open action RPG. It's open world, it's an open world action RPG. Oh my god, why am I stuttering? Jesus Christ. Both, both of these games, right, they're similar in style, they got similar looks, all that shit, right? But, this is where the core game, this is where the core difference is. And obviously Star Rail is turn-based, right? So obviously it's more restrictive, it's more linear, it's more, it's more about strategy, it's more about thinking, look at mine. Well Genshin, it's about instinct, it's about drive, it's about uh, like knowing, it's about having like rhythmic, it's, it's about having rhythm in Genshin, definitely. That's the word for it. Obviously, in Genshin, there's strategy and shit like that too, but you're moving constantly. And so a lot of the time, it's all about timing. It's all about just, you know, when, in, like, like, like knowing when to hit, when to do this and th that shit. Well, in, 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 you know, Star Rail, right, it's, it's more about like, oh, uh, okay, so, you know, this character does this and the enemy's gonna hit like this, so I'm gonna have to hit like this. Or I'm gonna have to do this certain action, right? And so that is something to, you know, consider, right? You're gonna play these games differently, obviously, right? I, I don't need to explain this further. You know what I mean? I do not need to explain this further. Turn-based and action RPG. Completely different. Completely different. But, you know, they got, they got, they got that similar aspect of running, I guess, four people, I guess. That's the only thing similar about it, but difference-wise, this, you get the idea. You get the idea, I don't need to explain it to you. I am, you know what, you're not a baby, and I'm not your daddy, right? So, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. And I guess, last but not least, you know, we are talking about it earlier. Let's talk about, like, aesthetics, right? Aesthetics, aesthetics-wise, um, obviously, character models and stuff like that. It's got a similar vibe to Genshin. It doesn't... Like, you know what I mean? Like, the art style, the art direction does not look completely different. It, in fact, it looks really similar to Genshin in that, in that, in that way. And it's something that I complain a lot about. Uh, not, not the art direction. I don't complain about that. But, like, the UI and shit like that is pissing me off because it's the same. I'm like, it just feels like you're playing Genshin. And it's so, super annoying. I'm talking about Star Rail, by the way. Star Rail, you, whenever you open that UI, it's so annoying because uh, it's exactly the same. On one hand, it's convenient, obviously, because... If you play Genshin, you know you know what Star Rail is gonna be like. You you know the UI of Star Rail. You know where everything is in Star Rail because you play Genshin, right? But at the same time, having that UI is just so similar. It, it it doesn't make it feel separate from Genshin. You know what I mean? And that that kind of sucks. But anyway, that's that's you you will you'll hear a lot more of my rants in part one of my star rail review right so uh, check that out i'll probably like i card it in the beginning of the video so i don't know just go to the beginning of the video and click the i card i guess and yeah so, but like you know aesthetics wise yeah like character design wise it's it's just similar but it's good it's good in the aspect however it is space right it's space themes all that all that good shit and so is the music right everything music is space theme in star rail yeah, in terms of like space, space crap, it's Star Rail, right? It's all about sci-fi, technology, like all that crap. It's got that sci-fi feel to it. It's like a sci-fi Genshin, um, which is cool and awesome, right? It's, it's really cool. It makes it, it makes it familiar, right? It's the it's the good kind of familiar, not not the UI, right? <laughs> I have to I have to I have to rant about the UI. The UI is the bad kind of familiar. You don't want to you don't, you don't want to connect. You don't you don't want to connect the Hoyoverse through the UI, right Genshin? You don't do that. You connect it through art style and direction and stuff like that. And music choice and all that shit. You don't connect it through the UI. You know, the whole universe doesn't connect through the UI, right? You connect, you know, whatever. You get the idea. If I rant about it here, it's, 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 it's gonna be another 15 minutes. 
But anyway, like spaceship, like space music, you know, space designs, like everything, everything. The aesthetic is clean. It's darker. It's more, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's definitely not like, it's more, it's got that dark feel, right? A lot of darker tones, darker colors. It's, it's beautiful in that way. It's, it's serene in that way. It's a calmer game because of that. But Genshin is action packed. It's bright, bright as hell. And it's, it's all over the place, right? Star Rail is just this dark, calm game. Genshin is like this bright, powerful game, but fun game, you know what I mean? Similar, but same, you know what I mean? It's That's the good kind of similar I want. But anyway, uh, now for the final conclusion, Genshin and Packer Star Rail. They both have each of their demerits, they both have each of their merits, right? They both have good things, they both have bad things. So what do I like about... So, so, so which one is... I'm sorry, I don't know. I messed up with that. So which game do I prefer overall? Overall, I probably probably have to choose Genshin. Because I've played Genshin longer, right? I cannot be... I, I'm not going to be unbiased here. I'm not. Because I've played Genshin longer. So, you know, I'm naturally going to lean towards Genshin. Genshin is frustrating at times, though. And... If Genshin is frustrating at times, Star Rail is always there to brighten my mood. It's always there to help calm me down, right? Because Genshin, like, 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 like and, and I think that's something important, right? That's something important. I think Hoyoverse, I think MiHoYo, whatever the whatever the heck they want to be called. I don't, I don't think that like Hoyoverse wants one game to be to be another game, right? It doesn't matter which game you like. Right, it doesn't matter which game you prefer. Because at the end of the day, they know that you're going to play all of their games. Because if one game gets too boring, you'll play the other game. Because those greedy, those greedy bastards. But yeah, those, those, those clever bastards. But yeah, Genshin's my, Genshin, just Genshin's just the preferred favorite because it's older and there's just more to do in it. But right now, I'm stuck with no content. But anyway, um, that's been it. Thanks for, I guess, watching this comparison video. If you enjoy my stuff, please subscribe. And I'll link my Twitch because I'll be going live every once in a while. So thank you guys. See you next time. Bye.